My name is Erika Edichmuacho and I work for Kwepa Koko as a research and development officer. My job is very, very fulfilling because at the end of the day, I get to travel out to the remotest parts of Ghana and I work closely with these farmers in the cooperative. And this actually puts a lot of joy, a lot of smiles on their faces. And that gives me a lot of joy. My job basically entails going out into the villages, meeting farmers, and then trying to find out problems that they face. At the village level, so many things go on. You know, Kwapakoko is a cooperative, and therefore um, we operate with the cooperative principles and values. So my job basically also entails going out and then teaching them some of these principles that we operate with. Because we are a very large organization, and farmers constantly need to re uh, be reminded of you know, the principles that we operate with. Actually, uh, democracy is what we, we dwell on because it's a so huge with 45,000 farmers. Everything is done co you know, democratically. At the village level, the farmers get to elect a seven-member executive who see to the day-to-day -day running of the cooperative in that level. Then it comes to the regional level where they elect another executive body and then to the national level where they do the same. Democracy is the trademark of Kapakoko. At meetings, you know, uh, nobody has a right to hijack the meeting because everybody has a say. And whenever they are voting, it's one man, one vote. When it comes to sharing something, it is done equitably and there's equality in all of these. So it is my job to go out and then teach them all these values. That way to us means a lot because it doesn't just give us, you know, a fair and stable price. It has helped us to maintain this democratic organization for so long. Fair trade means a lot to farmers because it has helped them, you know, get social premiums which we can invest in education. The cooperative knows that, you know, for farmers to win their way out of poverty, they need to, you know, invest in education. That is why at the moment there are seven schools to the cooperative's credit. These schools are scattered in, you know, remote villages in Ghana. And then in these schools, we try to give the kids the best of education that they can have. You know, education is somewhat free in Ghana up to the junior secondary school level, that's up to age 16, thereabout. And then from there, the farmer has to take, you know, total cost and f for the child's education. So, um, you know, you take your child to primary school, all right, you, the person won't pay school fees, but the uh, parent still has to, uh, you know, buy exercise books, school uniforms, bags, pens. And sometimes the kids go to school and they have no pen, no exercise book, nothing. And what that means is that, you know, the child goes to school and doesn't learn anything. So the cooperative sees it fit to give uh, the kids some of these things. Also, it is very difficult, you know, attracting teachers into these remote areas because, mind you, there's no electricity, there's no water. So what do you do to have teachers? The teachers have to be motivated, so the cooperative also supports these teachers by paying them extra so that they can organize extra classes for the kids. The cooperative owns 45% of shares in Divine Chocolate, that's in the UK, and then a third of the shares in Divine in the US. What this has done is it has given farmers a voice in the international marketing of cocoa. It's only Kaba Cocoa that has, you know, shares in, in, in a foreign company like that. It gives the farmers pride because they talk every day and then they say, we also employ white people because at the end of the day, they are majority shareholders and therefore they take decisions. They are able to, you know, decide on how the company should be run. So whenever Divine makes profit, they get 45% of that profit. So recently, Divine paid dividend to the farmers, and then everybody got a share in that profit. Last year, we produced about 35,000 metric tons of cocoa. We only got to sell about 2,500 metric tons to the fair trade market. That goes to show that we, we sell very small, 
sometimes the on average between two and three percent but these you know major sales to the federal trade market have been able to make a lot of impact in the lives of these farmers They're able to take their children to school they get clean drinking water they get so many things I sometimes sit down and I ask myself what if they sold um, 5% or 10 or 11 what would happen in Ghana what would happen in the lives of these farmers that is why we're encouraging people in the UK in America all over Europe to buy a lot of you know divine chocolate because whatever cocoa that is used in divine chocolate is from us here in Ghana in Kapa Cocoa and it will go you know a great deal to help all of us.